Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Angostura Sour. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is one of our favorite cocktails right now. Mm -hmm. You see it almost everywhere. Right. At, at, well, not like at McDonald's, <laughs> but at craft cocktail bars. Yeah. This is popular right now. It's one of those crazy things where it's like predominantly something you would use to just add to a drink. Yeah. You're using that to make a drink. I'm not sure exactly who invented this recipe, but I think it's someone in Trinidad. Why is that? You know why? <laughs> That's where the Angostura comes from. Yeah. yeah. This is how I envisioned it happening. Some college kid that just got a job there said, Hey, if we can convince people to use this by the ounce rather than the, than the drop, we'll make a lot more money. Right. That kid is probably president of the company right now, I would guess. <laughs> And that's probably when you started seeing the big bottles yeah. of this stuff. Well, Why would you need a big bottle like that? Yeah. <laughs> Bigger the better, right? <laughs> right. Um, this is an awesome drink. It is. We had it most recently at the Heritage Tavern in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. The Great Tavern. Mm -hmm. And we say that because it's true, right? That's true. Not that we get free drinks or anything. Right. Right. We, we, have to, we pay for all of our liquor, right? Mm -hmm. Every lime. Mm-hmm. We should mention that every now and again, because when we compliment somebody or some liquor, it's not because we're getting it for free. Right. Okay. It's because it's good. Right. And we want to share it with everybody else. When we first had this drink, I think we were together. Um, it reminded me of a like the holidays, because the flavors of the bitters are like very cardamomy, mm -hmm. cinnamony. So this, although we drink this year round, and it's a great year round drink. It would be a great holiday drink if you put a holly leaf on it or a rosemary sprig or something like that. Right. And we're using uh, egg whites with it. And there's a lot of holiday drinks that have the egg whites too. So you're already going to have yes. pretty much all this stuff on hand. Right. So let us begin making this delightful drink. Let's make it. We're going to start with one egg white or liquid egg whites. Mm -hmm. All right. If you want to use the pasteurized version. If, you, if you're going to use liquid egg whites, you want one and a half ounces. That equals one egg white. We're going to put that in a Boston shaker. All right. I've got to get some lemon juice. Sorry. <laughs> now, most when you see this recipe, a lot of places on the internet and in publications, they'll use lime juice as the sour. Right. But we find it's much better, noticeably better, with lemon juice. That's right. And most of our sours that we have, uh, we use lemon juice in them, except right. for our, our tamarind sour. Yeah, the tamarind whiskey sour, another great cocktail. Yeah. That's with, that's with lime juice. Or sometimes we don't even use citrus, right? Yeah, we use uh, uh, acid phosphate, we'll use uh, even orange marmalade. Yeah. There's so many different sours out there you can use, but this one is best with lemon. And this is a great drink to, to do a comparison. Mm -hmm. Make one with lime and one with lemon. and. I think you'll like the lemon better too. Yeah, but you can decide. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to add the lemon juice to the egg white and the shake this without Weiss. Without Weiss. Weiss. Weiss beer. Ice? No, <laughs> without ice for 30 seconds. You want a nice, foamy egg white. Now remember, you may have to burp once in a while, so if you start feeling pressure come on, you don't want your cocktail shaker to no. explode or anything. So Phil is the expert when it comes to burps, let me tell you. <laughs> That's right. So, of, and when we say 30 seconds, a lot of times we mean 20, but this time we mean 30. Keep that lid on there, you're going to be wearing egg white all day. Well, you know it's good when you really start feeling that pressure building up and you have to burp it. You're slowing down, Phil. I am. Um, it's a lot of work. You need to get, is there something at the gym you can use to like, <laughs> how do you train on that? I don't know. I think the you, shake weights? <laughs> oh yeah. You don't have those at the gym, do you? No. That's a lot like what this is like. There we go. That's one of those gimmicks where whoever made that got that idea is making a lot of money. I those little know. things that you go like that. All you need is one of these, and then you can have a good drink afterwards. <laughs> All right. And here comes the shocking part. One and a half ounces of Angostura bitters. Can you manage that? You're like hyperventilating <laughs> practically. Whew. So much, in fact, that we take out the little stopper so it pours easy, right? Right. That's a lot of bitters. I know. Pretty soon you're not going to be able, able to buy this. Right now, at least in Wisconsin, you can buy this. 
right? 48% alcohol bitters without being 21. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. You can't breathe. <laughs> I know I can't. Oxygen. <laughs> so we're going to have to get that thing like the football players <laughs> use at the side when they're in Denver, you know? <laughs> okay. And then simple syrup, one and a quarter ounces. Most recipes call for a one ounce, but it needs just a hint more. So we um, prefer one and a quarter ounce. All right. Now, poor Phil has to shake it again. I got to shake again with ice this time. <laughs> You got that sticky, slippery yeah. ice going on over here. My next partner, I'm going to have him do a workout session before <laughs> right. I the audition. You know, whenever they have the ad for a job, it says, must be able to lift 50 yeah. pounds. <laughs> must be able to shake for 12 minutes. <laughs> Ah, this is such a pretty drink. Real foamy at the top there. Nice. Beautiful. And for Christmas time, you throw a rosemary sprig on. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, leave it ungarnished. Here you have your delightful, delicious, unusual Angostura Sour. Enjoy. Cheers.